Hey, it's Kevin. Welcome back to Epic Brumoran Creations. Instead of a painting video this week, I wanted to actually show you some of the paintings I've done over the last few months before I decided to start this channel. So, also give you a tour of uh, my studio, which is really just this table here, this catch-all here, and this cabinet you see behind me. So. Uh, one of the very first uh, paintings I that I did. Let's see if I can get this in a so you can see it without a glare. There you go. That's not bad. Sort of the sun and two more planets. And then uh, just some red clouds. Yeah, I kind of like it. Uh, here's another one I did. Uh, I did end up getting. Uh, some paint some stray paint on it but I think it actually turned out really well I especially like the planet and the shading on it here's one I did for my daughter uh, pink mainly pink and uh, actually did uh, some rings around the planet came out really really well Give you a little background on this a little bit later. Those, uh, some of those are done on canvas. When I started doing painting with the spray paint, I started on canvas, but I was painting so much I realized that it's going to get expensive. So I moved to poster board. That's what I saw some other artists were doing was poster board. So. I started doing that and then uh, I ended up with a lot of paintings that I ended up giving away. So here is some planets and uh, over like an ocean view. Let's see if we can get that in there so you can see it without so much of a glare. There we go. And just some random shooting stars. Uh, this one not so good in my opinion, but there we go. Right. Here's one of a, a foggy planet and uh, some buildings I sort of scraped in. Uh, maybe the next painting I do, I'll uh, I'll demonstrate how I do this, and then of course water. That might be an interesting one. Uh, here's another one. Uh, I don't like it so much because of the cloud stencil. I just I don't like the clouds. They look cartoony to me. I, I prefer just to spray real fast across with the can and. It creates sort of like wispy clouds, but then there's more, more buildings. You can't see it. There is a bit of a water line I drew in, and then I uh, sort of almost like a pier out here. This one took me. Here was my first attempt at making multiple pyramids with a planet over top. This doesn't do very well, but there are some uh, some imperfections around the pyramids. This was probably my second attempt to do something like this. Here was the final, and this is the final one that I was really happy with. It's probably one of my most favorite, most favorite, is that correct? It's probably one of my favorite paintings that I've done so far. These I've been, let me find the other one. That's just those two? Yeah, I guess so. These are what I've been experimenting with. Um, this past week or so is uh, sort of a planet with 
a castle, a castle silhouette and some sort of hill or small mountain over water. Um, I'm not too, I'm not too thrilled with this one. I don't like the way it looks. Um, this one, not so happy with. I do, I like the way the water turned out and the moon or in the background, but I don't know. We'll see. And then just more, uh, more of these, more planets that I've created. Some better, some not so good. You can see almost right there, the clouds. That was just from spraying the can randomly. Maybe I used a little bit of a stencil, I don't really remember. And then you, you saw the video I created this one. There's another one of uh, buildings and a planet. large paintings, multiple planets, multiple shooting stars. Here's another one that didn't work out too well. This little tiny moon down here. And another large one. Oh, here's another another planet with the uh, castle silhouette. So, those are just some of the paintings that I've done over the last two years. Um, what got me into painting was um, about two years ago, June of uh, 2021, um, I found out I had cancer and I had to have, go have surgery. They cut it out and um, there, there was a short time span where um, they, had, they found a mass on one of my lymph nodes and uh, I was taking it pretty hard. I was getting really depressed. Uh, really scared and I decided that I'm not gonna wait any longer to do some of the stuff I'd like to do so I dropped about two thousand dollars and bought everything Bob Ross I got the paints his stencil all the brushes and I started with that um, I found myself getting more frustrated because it just what it wasn't working out for me and I, I don't think I was taking the time to make sure it gets done properly so I moved on to uh, some of the uh, more fluid art, the uh, where you're pouring, the paint pouring. And uh, I, I enjoyed that, but then I started watching other artists on YouTube. And I um, I found this, this one artist named uh, Casey Van Arsdale. And what he was doing really spoke to me. So I went out, dropped 50 bucks, got I think uh, four or five cans of spray paint and I already had some canvas, so I just started doing it and I just fell in love with it. And uh, I know I'm not, even though I'm not that good, this has become my passion. I've never, I've never felt passion for anything in my life, not work. Um, I mean, of course my family, yes, but nothing, uh, I guess you could say extracurricular. So, short and sweet, that's my story. I know there's been no uh, real, uh, format to this video is just uh, really off the off the cuff but um, let me show you my paints and how I got all my stuff but um, you see right here it's just this wooden table I put together out of some scrap wood that we had and then uh, that over there is an old drafting table which I got a piece of uh, veneer press press wood I guess is what you call it 
and I stuck that on top. And then uh, I just have this cabinet where I store all my paints and basically everything. So. I don't really separate it too much by color. I try to, just to try to stay a little organized. But um, there, got my airbrush up here, and all my all my different airbrush paints and stuff. Airbrush compressor. Uh, we'll get into that eventually. I'm not good at it at all. And then there's just more paints, and then more paints. Torch, some uh, paint thinner. All of. Uh, the cheap little bowls I use as stencils and then down there is a a portable easel right there yeah so that's really it I'm sorry if that's making you dizzy don't mind the sweat I live in Florida and it's hot So, that's it for now. Uh, it's Kevin from Epic Bromarine Creations saying thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, those of you who are, which I think most of you are my family, or my wife's family. My family too, I guess. But um, I really appreciate you watching. I love to share this with anybody who wants to see it. If uh, you have any comments, please leave them. Um, if you feel so inclined to subscribe, please do so. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.